in the dark alleys of Palermo, there is a man who is said to seduce and addict his guests with a secret weapon. This man is a spicy mix of sex appeal, deeply sophisticated culinary skills, and pure Sicilian passion. The Godfather! It is the best American movie ever made! But it makes my Godfather look really bad! Let me tell you something though. I am Don Vincenzo Clemente, and I am from Corleone. We do use knives over here. But in the kitchen! Revenge! It is best served on a cold plate with a lot of olive oil. Sicily, the crossroad of all major civilization, an exotic land with plenty of sunshine and plenty of food, a lot of food. Cavallo cheese, one of the staples of uh, Sicilian cheeses. We are at the beautiful Capo Market here in Palermo, and I invite you to come very, very soon. When you're dealing with Sicilian food, you gotta be careful. Our food. It's got such an amazing history. So many cultures have come through here and they've all left something good. Dangerously good. This is an arancina. Literally, little orange. It is a perfect example of fusion between wonderful culinary cultures. The use of rice and saffron comes from the Arabs. The meat ragu from the French. The tomatoes from the Spanish and the cheese from the Greeks. Mm. Dangerously addictive. Yes, our island is Italian, and Arab, and French, Spanish, and Greek. A place where time and tradition have been forged by people and faiths from the north and south, from the east and west. This mashup of culinary cultures resulted in a fusion cuisine where every dish has a story to tell. And Vincenzo knows how to tell a story. I'm going to uh, prepare for you one of the dishes that best represents the Sicilian opulent culture. All right, today I'm going to tell you a really good story. Back in 1805, the Sicilian queen, Maria Carolina, who was married to Ferdinand I, and her sister, Maria Antoinette. Anyway, they were down here in Palermo. What they did, they imported some wonderful chefs to the Palermo Royal Court. These chefs were called Monsou, which is a corruption of the French word Monsieur. Of course, the Sicilian chefs were working under them, but eventually, my compadre, they took over. Vincenzo's kitchen is a busy one and he is a very demanding teacher while holding his special dangerous eating culinary workshops. The batter is ready. We're going to really good with the with the uh, eggplant and with the zucchini. Oh, John, 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 take out the real thing ones. Whenever you fry it, turn it over one time. I gotta tell you everything now. Yeah. Every time you, you, you're done with one batch, right. I need you to wash off the pan and start fresh. Back to Vincenzo's story, 
the Sicilians took over the French chef, the Monsou, and created a brand new cuisine. They started using spices, threw in the walnuts, they marinated their meat in lemon, pine nuts, pistachios, even raisins. Sarda becca fico originally consisted of roasted quail-like birds, something like a robin's. Now, people couldn't afford that, but their great Sicilian flair made them think of a really cheaper alternative, sardines. Now, the choice of sardines is not without meaning. If you look closely, the fish's tail resembles a bird's tail. Some would say a robin's tail. So what they did is replace some of the rigidity of French cuisine with a touch of Sicilian flair. Sicilian by birth and Sicilian by temper. Don Vincenzo will have no mercy for your taste buds. So, whenever you have one of my dishes, you better watch out because they are addictive. Dangerously addictive.